this video, I'm going to be filling this panel of my closet with album covers. I've seen a lot of people do this on a bigger scale, but I don't want to get too complicated, so I'm sticking strictly with this panel here. Let's see how it goes. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to measure how big this panel is so I know how many album covers I can fit because I don't want to print out too many in waste paper. So this is 13 by 26 and a half inches. So that means that I can do about three across at around four inches. And then down I can do 26 divided by four. I can do about six. I can do about 18 covers here. So now that I know that I need about 18 covers, now I can go pick those 18 covers. So off to my computer. So I've already gone through Pinterest and picked a wide selection of album covers that I like or have listened to before. I have exactly 61 to pick from. It doesn't seem like a lot, but seeing as I have to get down to 18, it's kind of hard. I'm gonna make it color-based, but I'm going to pick album covers of like colors and like have a, an aesthetic or a theme to it of some sort. That's kind of what I want to do with it. So I've opened up a Word document and what I'm going to do is I'm going to pick the 18 album covers that I like the most and I'm going to put them all into this Google Doc and then once I have all 18 I will print them out and then I'll cut them. But we're not there yet. One step at a time. <laughs> So I have the 18 picked out. I actually think I picked some good ones. There's a common like red, yellow, and blue theme I got going on, like the primary colors. There's a lot of, it's not like bright red, it's more like pink kind of, but I think it'll work. Here they are all printed out. Gotta go cut them now. So I'll show you when I'm done. Welcome back to my floor. So I have all of the album covers cut out and ready to go. And I have some double-sided tape so I can stick them to this. I have them in order, so I'm just gonna start taping them. Let's do it. First one. First one, done. First row is done. Another way you could do this is by getting prints of album covers, like using an app and have the prints be sent to you. But I didn't know that. And also I didn't want to spend the money. I just used regular computer paper and it looks just fine. Do things cheaply. <laughs> We're about halfway there. I have nine left. I have a new angle now so you can watch me put the last three rows on. I don't listen to that much music. The only thing I know how to play on an instrument is hot cross buns on the recorder. That's as musically inclined as I get. I don't think that was exactly hot cross buns, but that's what I can remember. Have you ever seen anyone more musically talented? Didn't think so. Last one. Woo. All right, I finished. Here's the finished product. I love the way it came out. It came out super cool and I'm in love with it. This is a really cool project that I think you should do. 10 out of 10, would recommend. The only thing I didn't like about this was sitting on the floor for half an hour. I can't feel my legs. If you have paper, if you have tape, you don't even necessarily need double-sided tape. I highly suggest you do this, it's very fun. I'm surprised that I've made three videos so far. I thought I would only make like one. Thanks for watching. Bye.